Hi there, once again welcome to Audio Tech. This channel is dedicated to teach you everything you need to know to become an IT expert. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to design a unique call card or a business card for your company. Okay, so we have a unique card as you can see on my screen. I'm going to teach you how you can create similar things step by step. So what we're going to do right now is to open a new tab. So I'll go to File, New, and then I'll open a new tab. I'm going to set my size of call my size of my call card to three by two the weight is going to be three and then my height is going to be what two inches and i'm going to put the resolution as high as 600 because the size is very small in order to have a perfect resolution i need to set it very high then i need to leave everything as it is and go to work create so when i hit the create button this is what i'm going to work with so this is my background so I need to just set up the rest of the information and then we can go ahead and then start creating our call card. So what we need to do is now to create a layer. So you notice that we have two layers. So this is a layer, the green layer, and then we have the main layer, which is the background. So what we want to do right now is to create this layer. So to create this layer, I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I have my rectangle tool over here. So I'm going to click and then drag it across my screen this way. I drag it across and then I'm going to have a background, the dark background. By notice what you can see over here is that we want to create a background with a green background. You can use any color of your choice. So, even though I've used the black, I can double click on my layer here and then change the background color to any color of my choice. So, I'm going to select a green color, I'll make it a bit deep, and yeah, I'm good to go. So, let's just follow the standard we have and then let's try to create something similar. So over here, I'm having another background layer. Okay, let me call this a stroke. I have a stroke, very light green. So I need that stroke for this particular background. So I'll double click on my layer background and then go to stroke. So what I need to do is I'll set my stroke to what? Outside. And I'll I'm going to reduce the size a bit. And my stroke is currently using a gradient. So over here, I'm going to change it from gradient to color. And I'm going now I'm going to select my light green. Okay, so you can see that we are trying to create a unique call card just as we have over here. Okay, we need this logo to work with. So I'm just going to drag this logo. If you have any logo on your PC you want to use, you can just go and open. You can just go to file, go to open, and select that logo you work with. I'm going to use the same logo. So I'll just come here and just drag this logo and then put it on top of my design okay just as you can see the next thing we need to do is also to bring import and export with this you just have to use a type tool use the type tool and then you type it direct over there i'm going to reduce the font size to about 30 okay i think that is too large i'm going to move it to around 16 okay then i'm just going to type import okay i'm going to make everything in caps so i will turn my caps on and see import and what let's say export okay so i'll control a to select everything and then resize i'll drag to the left and then i'll resize this okay and then i'm going to reposition this just under the logo i will enlarge the logo notice that if i click on the logo it has been selected so i can just come to the edge and then drag outside in order to enlarge my logo okay as you can see what is happening i've enlarged my logo and then we have the import and then the export over here we can change the background to the light green color we use for our stroke so i can use the type to select click on my text and then select everything when i go to my color at the top menu over here i'll just select it and then with my eyedropper tool i can just pick this color which is the stroke and then it will replace my dark color I can go ahead to apply a bit of shadow if you notice if you can see clearly we have some dark shadow around this particular text so we'll do equally do the same thing by double clicking on my layer i'm going to add a shadow to this okay so i have a bit of shadow i'll increase opacity a bit and then also reduce the size of my shadow okay i'll spread it a bit reduce the distance reduce the distance okay so i'll leave it this way and the next thing we need to do now is to write the text down here. Maybe the name, the company's name. So let's say 
our company is going to be down here we just click and type the name of our company over here so let's say let me just type in it in so let's say estate state company limited so what i'm typing now is there's been a bit of gap inside but i'm going to show you how we can close this gap by selecting this by using my test to highlight and select everything you have what we have over here is my character tab or my character tool if you are not seeing this here just go to your windows your window menu and then make sure you have character just click on it and it will activate it for you we the first option over here we are going to turn this to auto we turn this to auto and automatically it's going to align it for us perfectly we don't want to use the same color we're going to use a white color for this and then let's compare it to what we have we can enlarge this as well so by clicking selecting the top one i can just drag and then i will enlarge this i will enlarge this and then i can reposition this a bit down here i also enlarge the limited a bit i'm also going to enlarge the limited a bit i don't want it to be the same size as the other one i can i want to cut it and then make it a separate text i don't want it to be in line with the other one so i'll just select i've copied it and then i'll just click and i'll paste it now okay so what i want to do next is to make change the fonts so you notice this font is very bold so i want to change this font as well so what i'm going to do is just select all by dragging and then go to, to the font option i need a imp i need a very a font that is very thick so i will go for impact i have a font called impact regular when i use this font i'll get a bit of strong fonts this is very bold and i can use this for my my write-up okay so i want the limited here but i prefer to change the color of the limited to also light green okay so i prefer to change this to also light green okay so that's exactly what i want and i will leave it like this i'm not going to give it anything like a shadow i'm going to leave it as it is and i'm going i'm just giving you a fair idea as to how you can create a very unique logo for your company so over here let's just get this very nice design over here so just a rectangle to pick your rectangle to drag it across and then you have that nice shape okay draw that shape let's turn the stroke off and we're going to change the background to the light background using the eyedropper too so you could see what is happening we now have this as well let's also type in the name so i'm going to type in any default name and i'm going to say john do okay so this is going to be the name of the business owner so i want to make this light so i'm going to use calibri i'm going to use light and this is going to be both as it is the next thing we're going to deep make the first part of our text very deep so i'll select this and then i'll change the light green to the darker green color and then i'll leave this one as it is but i'll prefer to add a bit of shadow to this so i'll double click on the layer and then check shadow so you notice i have a bit of shadow but I'll reduce the opacity of the shadow a bit reduce the spread and the size as well okay so i'm okay with what i've done so far the next thing i want to do is to bring the ceo down here so i want to type it right below my text okay so the ceo is going to come down here i'll click and then put everything into bracket and i'll say what c e o as easy okay so we tie the ceo and then i'll reposition it down here i will change the color to dark green and i'll reduce the font size so dragging to the left to reduce the font size i'm just going to put it right under this okay so i'll just leave it there and the next thing we need to do is let's say let's bring some of the business details so let's say they are on facebook Let's say this business is on Facebook, other social media platforms that we want people to contact us through. We can easily do that. So the next thing we're going to do is to 
let's say let's type the email of the company so yeah, I want to say uh, example example at gmail.com so let's assume that is your email and just put it over there nicely as you can see and then I'll just go down by hitting the enter key and I'll also give a website so let's say www.example.example.com so let's assume this is the website and we can go ahead and then also add a phone number so let's say plus 23 and then that's the code for Ghana and I will just go ahead and add the rest of the number so let's assume that is the contact number and finally we can I will align all these towards the left as you can see and I'm going to position it down here I'll space it a bit I'll space it a bit vertically so I'll just go to my character again and then use the vertical option to do exactly as I want okay so let me I can easily use the auto fill as you can see we can just give some bit of space so dragon will just give us the option dragon to left or right so let me just drag to the left in order to reduce it so I think this is okay I'll change the phone to 5 and we are good to go so this is exactly what we want and the next thing is I want to add a bit of social media handles over here we have the whatsapp and then the rest but I prefer to add some social media handles down here so I want a copy of this this same thing I can hold the alt key on my keyboard and drag this and I'm still going to get a copy of this I want to use this for my social media handle for this design so we just select it. let's see this company is on Facebook so let's see so let's just say estate company so let's say that's a Facebook and let's leave it as it is so the next thing we do is that let's also get the icons to represent this I have already downloaded some icons and you can get any of the icons you want Facebook icon on Facebook on, on Google you can just type in the Google and download those images and use it for your design I already have some over here and I'm just going to go through and get some for my design so I want to pick the core I'll just drag this to my Photoshop just drop it here okay as you can see I'll just drop this one here and resize this and use so that is for core so I'm just going to drop this drag it close to my contact close my contact and I'll double click on it and then change the color I prefer to have one unique color so I'm changing it to the green color as, as you can see so we also need something to represent our website email and then the rest so let me just get I can easily pick Firefox to represent my website but I also have uh, okay so let me just get something to represent my okay i think i'm going to use yeah i have an icon over here to represent my website i'll just drag this here also drag this down here and resize this resize this change the color also so we have we don't have so many colors for our design and i'm just going to also position this as you can see so this is for our website and we also need something to present our email so let me just go to my image once again remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content so what I need to do now is to get one for the email so for email I have an icon over here also going to change this real resizes change the color change the color and position it over there okay so we have all this setup we also need that of facebook to represent our social media icon so i'm going to look for facebook icon from my list i'll pick facebook and then i'll bring it to my page 
my design resizes and let's change the color change the color straight forward so our facebook i'll just resize it so let's assume this is for our facebook handle or is it assume i'm just gonna hold and drag this down so i want to get copy to also represent let's say we have the same name on or let's say company let's say com gh let's say that's for ig instagram we we're going to also use an icon so what you need to do is that any icon that you need just go go and then download it for your design okay we want to get that of instagram so i'm going to get that and bring it down here i'm just going to change the color as usual i'm going to change it i'm going to change the color as usual and we are good to go and we have to resize this a bit it's too small so i restyled it the last thing i'm going to do is to also add whatsapp i'm going to add whatsapp so i'm going to zoom this is the same number for whatsapp so holding alt i'll just drag it down here drag it down here i'll i'll delete the rest i'll delete the rest okay let me just select it again i'll just control c to copy this and paste it down here i'm going to paste it down here okay so i'm going to assume this is for whatsapp i'm going to assume this is for whatsapp and i'll go ahead and get the icon for whatsapp so i'll bring this one as well open this with whatsapp photoshop so open this with photoshop okay so i'm just going to drag this to my design and just going to drag this to my design and i'll bring it down here resize this and i'll change the color as usual so all you need to know is follow everything step by step and you can easily create something like this just add your company name and you are good to go what i'm going to do i'm going to leave the photoshop file below this link remember to download it and edit it for your own purpose everything once you are done with everything all you need to do is to go to a file save and we need to save this one as okay so let me just call this one call card okay so i'm going to call this one call card i'll save it to my desktop first i'm going to save this to desktop i'm going to leave a link below so that you can download this file and then all you need to do is to change the document change the names and everything and you can use it freely in any of your photoshop graphic design for caucus you can use it in any of them it's free of charge you are free to use so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and then i've saved it in photoshop to have it in my picture format i need to save it as jpeg so i'll go back and then click on save as and then what change this to the file extension to a jpeg and i'll click on save and then go ahead and save this so in order to create a core card it's exactly i've taken you through just follow the step and then you can create something similar to this thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial. bye bye